How are you programming your mind this week? What are you reading? Who are you listening to? Let me know in the comment section of this video. How are you programming your mind? Are you making it intentional? Let me know. You know what I did. This was the final week with Reagan Helier and Mind Valley's Art of Manifesting quest. And let's get right into it. So first off, starting off this week, Reagan talked about the multiverse theory. So I'm pretty sure you've seen a lot of different movies and things like that, how there are different multiverses and different timelines, different versions of yourself, right? She uses this theory in one of her sessions. So you are asked to think about the highest version of yourself, right? Along this multiverse. And you're going to be trying to get knowledge from that higher you from a different timeline, right? So along with that, she also talks about different timelines and things like that, trying to cut off things that don't serve you, right? So we are asked to go into several activations where she breaks this down. Again, Reagan is the expert, but she breaks this down on how to channel your highest version of yourself. And that is what we dove into for the first two sessions, the multiverse theory and collapsing timelines, timelines that don't serve you. So you can really bring to you what you truly want to manifest. After we went through the multiverse theories and trying to draw in the best version of yourself, we got to a session that I really liked and I thought it was very useful and it was altering time. It sounds crazy, right? Altering time. But really in this session, she was just trying to teach us to program ourselves to be friends with time. Oftentimes, we get in the habit of saying, we don't have enough time to do this. I don't have enough time to do the things I want. I don't have enough time to study. I don't have enough time to actually do what it takes to manifest what I want. If you reprogram your mind to think that I do got enough time, I do have enough time, it's more than enough time in my day. If you reprogram your mind in a lot of all of manifesting is really mindset. If you start your day off with, man, it's going to be a rough day. I don't really have that much time here. I don't have that much time here, there. That's what your day is going to be. It's going to be a lot of rushing around and you're going to feel you don't have enough time. But of course, if you start off like, okay, I have enough time to do everything I want, a mindset, a mindset shift. I have enough time to do this. I have more than enough time to spend with my kids. I have more than enough time to do what I want to work out. I have more than enough time to fit in some type of hobby. If you have that mindset, you're more than likely going to shift things around in your day and actually feel like you are doing something during your day, opposed to having the mindset of, oh, man, I really don't have time. Right. And it's all about crafting a belief. If you believe you have enough time, you will attract enough time in your day and you will finish your day like, huh, I did have enough time to do that. I found this to be true when you do things like working out, especially working out. You know, we always say, oh, man, I don't have enough time to for a 20 minute workout, 30 minute workout. But when you actually make time and force it into your day, you're like, huh. I do have time, right? But of course, she breaks it down in a very detailed way. And I encourage you again to check out this quest with Mind Valley. Mind Valley is currently 50% off if you use the link in the comment section and description. So make sure you use that link to check Mind Valley out and this quest. So once we get past becoming friends with time, we are led down the quest into a phase where we are accelerating time and making what we are trying to manifest come to us faster. You are given an activation to accelerate time so you can bring what you're trying to manifest to you faster. 
and that too was very powerful okay the next quest after that was about pulling your reality so again we're trying to accelerate what we want to manifest in this one she brings out a great point so in this quest she talks about how in her earlier stages of manifesting she met a roadblock it felt like nothing she wanted to manifest was actually coming to her so she had to shift her mindset from expecting to knowing right and this really opened my eyes up too so she has an analogy it's like when you expect something you might just sit and expect it you expect it you expect it but in that thing you expect may never happen but when you know something's going to happen it happens effortlessly so when you shift your mindset from expecting to knowing things start to click more and she uses the analogy of the sun rising right and she paints the scene of you imagining that you're sitting on the beach and you're expecting the sun to rise you're sitting there you're waiting getting anxious you're hy getting hype oh the sun's about to rise the sun's about to rise right because you're expecting the sun to rise but when you know the sun is going to rise like you just sitting there and you know the sun is going to rise the the feeling of knowing something is going to happen like we can go to sleep and we know tomorrow is going to come right we know the sun's going to rise because we're not like on the beach expecting expecting right she says that's the same feeling when you're trying to manifest expecting could be holding you back but when you know something's going to happen it just happens right she says usually her clients come back and say yeah this happened this happened and it really helped me out your class and course and things like that with her master class and she says to them i knew it was going to happen not she expected that to happen but she knew it was going to happen right it's a different type of feeling when knowing something's going to happen and expecting something is going to happen so she really gets deep into that and i do like that perspective versus expecting and knowing and a lot of people along with reagan again i'm in this field and i watch a lot of people's um, affirmations and things like that when you expect or want something right like when you're doing affirmations when you say i want something i want something you're expecting something to happen and you're having a need for it opposed to saying i am or i have it now and showing gratitude a lot of people in the field say you have to shift your mind to that knowing of i have it now and not i want so i definitely like that session the next session ties into that the next session after that is showing gratitude learning how to show gratitude to your future self so again we're talking about making sure that you pull those things to you so she leads you into an activation and you are to picture that you already have whatever it is you're trying to manifest and you are showing gratitude gratitude being grateful and thankful for whatever it is you're trying to manifest so again this all just helps you shift your perspective and shifting your perspective helps you pull things to you and she also leads you down an activation where you can enter your natural state of gratitude in the last few sessions with reagan one is making sure that you have a daily routine a daily routine to incorporate some of these tools that she has taught you right so going through this quest means nothing if you don't incorporate what you've learned and put it into practice right manifesting a lot of people think you know you're just going to snap your finger and you're going to have exactly what you want but you have to actually do the work and put your mind in the state of I know this is going to happen. And don't forget, as she said at the beginning, you know, a lot of people think is 80 percent work and 20 percent mindset is 80 percent mindset. But you can't forget about the work. So you still have to put the work in and you still have to, you know, have your mindset in the right place. That's what Regan tells us in this quest. 
and she encourages us to have maybe a morning ritual or a ritual before we go to bed just something that you put into practice and again i'm i'm going back to some of the successful people that i know about right i was listening to an interview with kobe bryant right and kobe says r.i.p kobe one of the greatest that ever lived right he said every morning before he starts anything he had a meditation ritual right every morning he starts this and he says this is how he you know controlled his day he set out his day saying he was going to have a good day he was going to achieve xyz he started with a morning ritual every morning so again some of the most successful people have these practices they start their day on their terms and that's exactly what kobe said in that interview his little ritual allowed him to start his day on his terms so why wouldn't we want to learn a habit from one of the greatest of all times again a lot of the successful people have rituals he isn't the only one that i heard say that so the last and final session with regan is a celebration she congratulates you for going through this course and welcomes your new manifestation and she again encourage you to stick with the practices and even go back through some of these lessons of course you would want to go back through some of these activations because they really help you put your mind in a certain place sometimes you might feel like you're sabotaging yourself so you might want to go revisit the self-sabotaging lesson sometimes you might want to you know affirm yourself so you might want to go back to the lesson where you met with your higher self and you know again try to recalibrate yourself to your higher self because we all aren't perfect right we have bad days good days so these tools that mind valley has from this lesson you can always revisit them so that's why i think mind valley's platform is really priceless so you might go through this 30-day program but you can always revisit it because again we all need to be fortified sometimes we all have those days where we feel off we all have those days where whatever we're trying to manifest whatever our dreams and goals are we might start to doubt ourselves so when that happens, a lot of times you won't manifest it because we have to believe it more than anyone else. You can't really look for someone else to affirm yourself. So these courses and these quests with Reagan and different Mind Valley instructors, I'm just, again, I went through this one. They are priceless for that. These are key for self-development. A lot of people I have seen, they talked about this um, quest because it's called the art of manifesting. Oh, it's some magic stuff. Oh, this ain't going to happen. But really, it's training you to have a different mindset. And if along the way, it helps you pull your dreams and goals to you, why wouldn't you want to learn that? So I would highly recommend this quest from mind valley and reagan helia so those are my thoughts this is the first quest that we went through together from mind valley and i plan on going through a lot more and sharing with you guys what i think this is mind valley's number one trending quest and again mind valley is a big platform and worldwide and this was number one next we're going to be going into the silver ultramind system with vision mind valley's founder and i've been through this once i said that um the public speaking was my first but i took that and public speaking at the same time when i first dove into mind valley um I really was interested in that. So if you want to go into that with me, make sure you come back because again, I'm going to be talking about every Mind Valley quest that I've been through and we're going to go through it together. 
this really helps me as much as it helps you we go through self-development things and we talk about different lessons so if you're interested again in mind valley i encourage you to check it out link is in the description with my link you get 50 percent off if you don't use my link and you just go there you're going to be paying full price so again make sure you check it out and come back to check me out so we can talk about it more i appreciate you guys checking me out make sure you come back and see me and remember to program your own mind. Peace.